Hey everybody, Charles Lavera here from the Office of Digital Learning at the Everly College of Science at Penn State. I'm reaching out today because I wanted to discuss an H5P tool I've been using recently. Um, specifically, I wanted to talk about the documentation tool. Uh, this tool allows a user to work their way through a project and kind of evaluate uh, how they've done through the project. Uh, this can include setting goals for themselves with a goal assessment, um, planning out specific steps and traversing their way through them, uh, listing out what they did specifically to contribute to a project, etc. Uh, what's really nice about this content type is that at the very end it also allows you to export all this data that you've collected from the user in an easy Word document. Uh, so let me get started here and show you how I set this up. So right now you're looking at the media page uh, that we use in our department. Um, no worries if this doesn't look like what you're using because these same steps that I'm about to show you can be used at h5p.org. Uh, so let's get started. So I'm going to select h5p. Um, if you're a faculty member with us, you probably already have a course set up, but I'm going to use this sandbox down here to host my content. Uh, you'll notice this content type hub. This is identical to h5p.org, so again, if you know, you're not familiar with our setup, it's no problem. You can still follow these same steps over at h5p.org. So first we need a name for our thing, documentation tool test works. Let's go ahead and select it. We're going to use the documentation tool. And here we're presented with this uh, editor that's just basically asking us to create pages. So let's give it a cool new project title and add our first page. So our first page, we want it to be a standard page. Now you'll notice there's some other pages in here, and we're going to get to those in a second. But the first page is going to be a standard page, and we're going to make an introduction. We want our user uh, to know what they're doing, so let's give them some instructions. We'll create a text field. Please um, So maybe we want some goals. Let's look at goals. And we want our users to come up with a plan to achieve their goals. And we want our user to document specifically what they did in the project. Uh, then maybe we would like our user to evaluation, perform an evaluation, and then finally goals assessment. Okay. So I'll bump this up and then Include your full name and project name. So we've asked for, you know, we've given some instructions here of what the, pro the overall outline of this uh, cool new project is going to look like. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and give some fields now for the user to input their name and project name. So let's go ahead and select input field, full name. Uh, there's some placeholder text, and you can increase the field size, which you know we're going to make use of that in a little bit. But um, for the interest of time, we're going to keep things moving. Let's add another input field for project name. Okay. Cool. Okay, our intro page looks good. Let's go ahead and add our next page. It's also going to be a standard page. Oh, actually, no. Let's make this our goals page, right? So we have goals. It's going to ask me if I want to switch it. That's fine. Uh, we'll set up our goals page here. You'll notice a lot of this is pre-populated. Um, I usually just leave it as is, and you'll, you'll kind of get an idea what the goals page does once we uh, finish the project and work our way through it again. Okay, so let's add another page. Let's call this a plans page. I'm going to select standard and make that plan. And basically here, we're going to give some instructions to our user right down your plan. How and why are you working on this project? So right, we've asked some specific stuff. Let's create some uh, input fields for the user. We'll just call this one how, and we're going to bump the user the input field size up to ten to give them a nice block uh, to write their answer in. And let's do the same thing for why. Add that. Okay, that looks pretty good for our plan page. Let's go ahead and create another page, which will be our work page, right? We want to know specifically 
um, what our user worked on during the project. give them an input to put their answer, bump up the size again. Um, yeah, these are all pretty much just repeating the same process. So once you've done one, they come together pretty quickly. So next, we'll create our evaluation page. Same kind of setup here. And then we'll give them again an input field to put their answer. Okay, our evaluation page looks good. Let's go ahead and add another page. This one we're going to get into our goals assessment. This is again pre-populated. If you look at like low rating, learn little, medium rating, learn something, uh, high rating, learned a lot. Again, these can be shaped uh, and customized to fit your project contextually. So you might want to take a look at that, but we're going to leave them as is. And then finally, what we were talking about was adding a uh, document export page, which we're just going to call this one done to let our users know that they're finished. But this will allow you to export the document and this data that you've collected from the user in a nice Word document. Um, I'm going to leave all the other fields the same, but let's save this and take a look at what we got here and see what happened. Okay. All right, so here we have our cool new project. Um, the introduction page, you can see what it kind of looks like. Um, let's go ahead and add our name. And generic project name. Our goals, we just want to create some goals. And you kind of get the idea of how, how this would come together. It's pretty easy. Um, after we've created, the users created their goals, we'll go to the next plan. Um, write down your plan. How or why are you working? As you can see there's some input fields with the labels we created. Let's grab some lorem ipsum here and work through this quickly. So go ahead and, all right. Looks good. Um, project work page, write down what you did to contribute to the project, be detailed. Go ahead and throw some more lorem ipsum in there. Evaluate your performance. You can kind of see how these pages come together to form this complete uh, review of the project. Uh, when we get to the goals assessment page, the tool will go ahead and ship each goal over individually so that the user can uh, evaluate themselves on it based on the criteria that you set up. Here you can see that learned a lot, learned something, learned a little doesn't really contextually uh, fit what we're, with what we're asking, but um, you know you can kind of get a feel for how you would manipulate those answers to reflect your project. So let's go ahead and answer these. Just randomly pick some. Okay, so you can see that we have these two goals that we completed. Now we're going to go ahead and to the next page, which is done. Um, go ahead and create our document. So here you can see that there's this completely formatted Word document now that has all the information about the project and the things that uh, the user was working on. Um, and we can choose to export that, which will create this nice text doc uh, down here. Um, and that's that. Uh, to use this in your website, you would, if you're working with the Elms media system, you would go to your display options and get your display token and just paste that into your your Elms course. Um, if you're looking to embed into another place, you can use these uh, these options down here to um, get the embed code to paste into your WYSIWYG of choice. And then finally, the download option lets you download this this project that you've created and upload it back into the H5P editor. So um, you can place this on other sites or host host your H5P content through through other sites. 
Um, so that's it. Um, I think this is a very cool tool. I think it would be very uh, useful in working through some student assessment or um, any sort of project that you're looking to you know, scaffold out, um, organize, and, and get some input back from the user completing or working on the project. Um, so that's it. So thanks for watching.